sorry. I, I didn't mean to startle you. Um, I was hoping to ask you something. Hmm? What? N no, I don't want you to do my homework for me. That's not what I was going to ask you. No, I don't want you to t tutor me either. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Um, hi. I'm Clarice. We have Miss Carter's class together. And I see you around school a lot. I know we don't really talk or interact with each other at all. But, um... I was hoping to change that. Um, can we maybe go somewhere to talk? Somewhere, somewhere where there is a lot less people. I swear, it's not weird or a prank. I just don't want a lot of people seeing us together right now and give you a hard time because of it reasons why I'm asking you if we can go somewhere more private. Please. Anywhere but here. Why not that private reading room right there? Right there, please. Yes, me. I like doing my own work in someplace quiet. Anywhere else. There's always someone who wants to talk, text, or hang out with me. So I sometimes request this room when I need to get my work done. Is that so hard to believe? I'll try not to take offense to that. Anyway, please, can we talk somewhere more private? exactly talk about it here. Please, I promise I'll explain if you just come with me. Please. Please, please, please. Thank you. Great. No prank. No one else here but us. Thank you for coming with me. I see you're straight to the point. Good. Um, it's just, um, it's really weird to talk about this in public. And, and I kind of only wanted you to hear it. So, the reason I need to talk to you is... I can't believe I'm actually telling you this. Okay. No backing down. Okay. But, um... I need you to... Take control and make a mess of me. And just... Just kiss me like crazy. Like, really ruin me. I mean, not in that type of way. Like, like... Like, really flustered me and... Make me a... Blushing re red mess type of ruined mess. <laughs> Right, I should explain, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, what I mean is... I, um... <laughs> I kind of have a thing for nerds. Nerds, geeks, dorks, you name it. 
I just find them really, really cute and sweet, but also so determined and smart, and you can always count on a nerd to treat you right compared to some dumb jocks. They can be so passionate about what they like, too, and <laughs> I guess in a way can give you whiplash when they talk about something. They just know so much about something, and they always have something to say, or to even talk about. I just think <laughs> all of that is just really, really hot to me. A moment with them is never boring, and I kind of love seeing that spark in them when they talk about something that they like. Yeah, see? That, that little spark right there. <laughs> that is like, <laughs> really hot to me. The way you just find something you want to know more about. So you keep learning about it until you're satisfied. I just really admire that so much. Yeah, really. It's just, I don't know, something about how invested nerds get into their work. It's just so cool. At least I find it that way. I think it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a type of drive they have. It's about drive, it's about power type of mindset, I guess. <laughs> It's so impressive to see how much they focus on something, and I can't help but admire it because I struggle with that sometimes. Like, you know almost everything about something that you like. Just the amount of tension that you devote to what you're doing is... It's really stunning. And <laughs> this might seem, I don't know, it, it might sound selfish. I can't exactly find another word, but I've always wanted to be the center of that type of focus. Not in a weird stalkery kind of way. And Something kind of romantic, I guess. Other types of people just don't show that much dedication to getting to know someone like that. Most of the time, especially around here, they make it seem like just showing the smallest interest in a girl is supposed to make them do anything they say. Or fall all over them. Hell, just sh hell, just take a look at the cheerleading squad and half the jocks around here. Exactly why the reason I haven't dated anyone in this school yet. It's not that I'm playing hard to get. It's just no one has sparked my interest. And I guess it's also, it's just no one who has tried has been up to my standards yet. I just don't find an interest in someone who thinks I'm going to give myself up that easy. Just because they think they're good looking doesn't mean anything. I was always taught beauty is only skin deep. It's who the person is, is what makes you love them. I want someone to put in the work and get to know me and 
honestly, just remember the simple things about me can do so much. Like my favorite color, what I'm allergic to, my favorite drink, just those things. Really cute, simple, small things make the difference. And to be honest, kind of makes me fall for someone much more. But yeah, to <laughs> to be the subject of a nerd's focus on, like, I always wanted to be the center of that focus. Some might say it's intimidating and might be true, but it could be also really exciting. And that's why I'm talking to um, you right now. Well, I wanted to talk to you because you're driving me crazy. I can't take it anymore. I want to have a cute nerd make me feel all weak in the knees and make my head spin when they kiss me. Turn me into a blushing mess and I thought you would be perfect for that. why you? There's a lot of reasons why you're exactly what I want. You're really smart and clever, for one. When I listen to you talk in class, it's almost mesmerizing to me. I can listen to it all day if I could. You're so adorable in my eyes, especially when you're focused on your work. You get that little, um, that little serious face, which, again, is so cute. <laughs> and when you're angry or uh, frustrated, you have quite the temper, and let's be honest, I find that incredibly hot, too. <laughs> and... Also, when I see it in class, it kind of makes me fidget in my seat a little bit. And out of what you have shown, your personality is just so, so, um, how can I even describe it? Um, I'm not very good with words. Uh, fun... Maybe fascinating. No, oh, that's not the word I'm looking for. <sighs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it for now. Bright. You have a very bright personality, and I just like that so much. Oh, right. The reason why I want you to kiss me like crazy. <laughs> that is, well, because, um, <laughs> because I can't stop thinking about it. About you? <laughs> I may not look it. But I am very observant, and I've taken notice of you because you seem like my type. So every time I saw you, I would observe because I am only human, so when I see someone who seems to be my type, I can't help but stare and look at them. 
you have that lecture hall every week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays, right? Yeah. Business orientation. <laughs> and every week, you sit in the same area. The other front, next to the right side walkway. Not only because it's the closest to the board, but it's not in the way of the sun glare from the window. I know that because um, I'm in that class. You probably never noticed because you actually pay attention in that class. <laughs> I actually sit next to the windows because I like the breeze that comes in there from time to time. I struggle sometimes and thanks to you, I've been trying like really really hard to pay more attention during class and a few of my other classes. So so when I or if I got the guts to talk to you, I wouldn't look so much like a dumb, popular girl who's trying to trick you. Because I know that's how a lot of people see me. Because of my hair and how I dressed and the fact that my parents do pay for my schooling. I can't exactly change how people see me for now, but hopefully one day I can. But you just keep getting my attention and seem to never let it go. There have been times that I have completely missed the whole lecture in class because I was stuck daydreaming about you. At first, it was something so cliche, like helping me to study, or I find out that you like something I do, or we get assigned to be study partners or in a class project, but <laughs> the more I daydreamed, the more and more and more rom romantic things got. Then I realized I couldn't stop thinking about you and I couldn't get you out of my head. No matter how hard I tried. It wasn't until one of my friends took notice on how I was acting that I might have, <laughs> like, have a, <laughs> have a huge major crush on you. I know that sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> it's true. I've been, that's when I started to wonder more. Like, what? <laughs> oh, um... Well... Like, what would it be like if I held your hand? What it, what it would be like to sit next to you? Be close to you? And then the idea of what would it be like if we kissed? How would it make me feel? How would it taste? How would it feel being pressed against my lips? I'm not one to really be shy when it comes to what I want, and 
it wouldn't be the first time that I grabbed someone and just started to kiss them. But I soon realized that I really wanted it the other way around. Then that image just kept playing again and again and again in my head. It wasn't until every place I saw, I could just imagine it happening. Right there, in the stairwell, in the hall, outside the lockers, after class, even on my way home. I just... I just wanted you to kiss me until my brain went spinning leaving me dizzy, and the whole world would just fade into the background. And honestly, I still want that. This isn't some sick joke or prank. I'm not that cruel. Like I mentioned, no one has really caught my attention. Until you did. I only date nerds and dorks for a reason. I could care less what other people think. Their opinions don't matter. I like what I like, and, and if they don't get it, then they're missing out. The only opinion that matters right now is yours. So, I'm here, asking you to please kiss me. Maybe it will get my thoughts to calm down, or get my head back on track. I don't know. But I really, really want you to kiss me. Yeah, I I think that pretty much sums it up. If you need time to think about it, I completely understand. I don't want to force anything onto you. Not at all. I'm not that type of girl who would ju- who is going to like throw a tantrum if you say no. It is rather sudden. <gasps> <sighs> Did you decide? Are you gonna kiss me? At least say you are. I would really like it if you were gonna kiss me. Do you want to kiss me though? Cause I really want to kiss you now. Please. Definitely dizzy. <laughs> oh, cuckoo. <laughs> uh, give me one moment. I'm still spinning. <laughs>
You're kissing me. But... Every kiss felt so thorough. Hmm? Um, I'm, I'm sorry for gripping onto you too tight. I didn't mean to. I couldn't help myself. And I... I couldn't help myself when I bit your lip. <laughs> I, I got caught up in the moment. You, hmm? <laughs> you found it hot. Oh. <laughs> well then. Uh, what flavor is on my lips? I taste sweet. Oh, you mean my lipstick? <laughs> oh, you see, I have this color lipstick that I love, but it keeps <laughs> my lips feeling dried sometimes, so I take a small amount of it and melt it down and mix it with a melted down rose-flavored chapstick. And I get this. Something that doesn't dry out my lips and the color I love. And now it tastes sweet also, too. If you wanted another taste, you could have just asked. <laughs> yeah, this is way more fun. <sighs> please, please, don't stop doing this. It feels way too good to stop. This definitely beats anything I could think of. How close you are to me. Holding me close to you. <laughs> Feeling you under my fingertips. Could you? Please. Mm. <laughs> you really are so cute. But I know I asked you to kiss me and everything, but I'd be crazy if I didn't ask you out after this. Yeah, really. Would you go out with me? Great, I was hoping you'd say yes. <laughs> I was worried that me begging me had kind of seemed a little weird. And I didn't want you to think I was, um, something else, like, too easy. <laughs> you think it's cute. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I can beg for you again if you want. <laughs> like... 
placed. Pretty placed. Can you kiss me again? I promise I won't cause any trouble after. Please. <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know if I can think right now. <laughs> um yeah, um dinner dinner sounds good. Um um I mean after class and everything I'm sure you have a few more classes, and I do too, um, plus I would like to get ready, so, um, how about me meet outside the school gate? I know of a really good ramen place nearby, if that sounds good. Yay! Great. It's a date then. Oh, wait a second. Just before you leave... I know I asked, but can I get one more kiss just to hold me over till then? Please? Just one? <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you at the gates. Um, does, does round six sound good? Okay, great. I'll see you then. <laughs> She's trying to mommy. I do.